Um, all in all, it was just a good day for people to learn about Maritime Center, what it was going to mean to this community, and just celebrate. That good day Pam Portwood is talking about was the Mighty Mullet Maritime Festival, an annual event hosted by the Big Bend Maritime Center. So what is this Big Bend Maritime Center? The Big Bend Maritime Center is a project of Florida Foresight. Florida Foresight was established in 2002. It is a uh, local uh, not-for-profit here in Florida and specifically serves Wakulla County. Our mission is really to um, promote the um, intrinsic resources of this area, the cultural, you know, natural, historical, archaeological, all of those things to help um, promote nature and heritage-based tourism and also um, other, you know, sustainable development. There was no maritime museum that was interpreting this area of the Gulf and so um, we wanted to see if it wasn't something that we could do here in Wakulla County. This is Bill Lowry, Executive Director of Florida Foresight. Uh, there was a consideration in naming it a maritime center rather than a maritime museum. And it really gets to um, the notion that we wanted, wanted to be an active center for the community and bringing school groups in and doing school projects and uh, having programs here and, and all sorts of things. And it will have, you know, its museum uh, component too, where there'll be historic artifacts on display with interpretation and all that sort of thing. Our vision is that it is a living uh, maritime center so that our local fishermen will be involved with the programming, actually, you know, doing demonstrations here and um, passing on their heritage and culture to their grandchildren. And that, that is very important to the local fishermen. Um, they have probably been our biggest supporters because they're, you know, they're aging and they're losing their history and they really want some, someone to capture it and that's what we hope to do. So we start out with the early Americans uh, who were here, you know, arguably 12,000 years ago. And then finally the Europeans got here with the Spanish and uh, the French and the English and the, you know, the Americans and so forth. And, and then this modern uh, community probably got founded about the beginning of the 20th century. And it was a fishing village and uh, people lived off of mullet to a large extent. That was a huge part of the fishery. They had seine yards, they did bartering with uh, farmers for their produce. And when we talk about the Maritime Center and what we're going to interpret, what the stories that we're going to tell, it's not just panacea. We are going to be interpreting a wide swath of the Big Bend area. So that includes the military history and the Second World War, which was uh, a major uh, event that happened here with all the practice landings and so forth that were done on Alligator Point and elsewhere. This is everyday stuff in the old swimming hole at Camp Gordon, Justin, Florida. It's what they call an amphibious training center. And these men are getting hip to moving in on the enemy. We received a grant two years ago from the Florida Communities Trust um, to purchase property to actually um, hold the Maritime Center. And it's the property we're sitting on right now. It's a little over five acres right on Dickerson Bay. It includes two houses that we want to renovate for public use, and then our plans, of course, include uh, building new, you know, museum property later. But um, this is really the first really major step in the process. That's the existing one, right? And that's up there. This will be an incrementally uh, developed uh, facility. The site will include, of course, facilities for the Maritime Center, actual buildings but we'll have um, a beautiful, you know, nature walk that will be interpreted. Um, we have the dock out front. We, we um, are actually on the Big Bend um, saltwater paddling trail and the Florida circumnavigational paddling trail. So for those reasons, we'll have, we'll be putting in a, a canoe kayak launch here. We will have programs. Um, there'll be video, the police centers where people could sit down and look at videos, they could look at the artifacts, but there'll be programs with lectures and there'll be tours and excursions that are based out of here. In the next two to three years, we hope to get the funds to renovate the, the existing facilities so that we can, you know, the public can start enjoying those. So we intend for this property to be open to the public, you know, prior to the full build out. 
and the big the big challenge is the 5,000 square foot building uh, that will require quite a bit of money and that will have you know a lot of modern things in it and so forth. We really want this to be a living museum. It is not going to be a static you know just display. You walk through and look at displays so there you know I think the biggest part will be involving the community and local you know, demonstration projects, and the public can learn about what a rich heritage we have here. Getting this property here with this Dickinson Bay and so forth, uh, right next to a county park, and uh, it's just a gorgeous place, you know, and we're really excited about it. From the future home of the Big Bend Maritime Center in Panacea, for WFSU, I'm Mike Plummer.